Hey, welcome. It's Noel. Steve's behind the camera for a change. We're switching it up some. Today, he's going to be working on batteries for our solar system. And I am going to be stripping old dried up caulk from the sides of the camper and giving it a refresh. It's about 70 degrees outside, so that's pretty awesome. It's early in the morning and nice and cool, but it's about 61% humidity. So that part not quite as fun to be working in. So come along, share our day. Today I'm going to use a scraper this little scraper, which I don't think is for what I'm using it for, but I don't care. Clorox wipes because, you know. And Dicor. This is a non-leveling lap sealant for the roof. We have a self-leveling, but that's only for up on top of the roof. So, I have four of these things. Hopefully, I don't need them all. But just in case. On this side, um, I'm just going to scrape off all of this old gunk. I guess I need to get a plastic bag out here to capture it. But I'm going to scrape all this stuff off. You can see that it squeezed out from beneath when they tightened these um, bolts on. So I'm going to scrape it all off, give it a good clean, and then reseal it. So some places like here there's not very much to clean so that'll be kind of quick and easy just a real quick scrape and then a wipe down and then i can reseal it some stuff like this gonna take a few minutes so the reason that we want to reseal this is that we've had our camper now for a couple of years and over time the sealant shrinks and cracks and then doesn't protect you against water damage you can see right here if you do a close-up that it's all starting to peel up right there and shrink away. So we want to reseal that, scrape all the old off and reseal it so that water doesn't drip down in there and causes damage. Now behind here, our electrical connection, you can see that it's completely pulled away over time. We probably should have, ooh, there's a spider under there. It's a white, it's an albino spider, look at it. I don't care for that. Anyways, <laughs> there's um, it's completely peeled away right there, so we probably should have done this project before now. But better late than never. I'm making a big, huge mess. Oh, all right. Well, how goes the battle? It's not good. The hole is way too big. I knew it would be because I had to use a screwdriver inside there. So I got way too much coal going everywhere. Now I'm trying to clean it up. And... Doesn't look bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw my handiwork on top of what you. world does that look not bad? No world. Alright, so... It looks um, terrible. I don't really know what to do. I'm sensing you'd like me to go away now. If you could let me just do my work, that would be great. Well, I went to an RV store and got Sika Seal, S-I-K-A-S-I-L. It's a clear seal. They don't have clear die cord. Um, but he told me that it's what people use for doing like around to the halfway mark, like where the water drains. So I'm scraping off old caulking and then trying to recock where I can and then putting that sick of cell most of the place. So it hasn't been very productive yet because I had a big learning curve with that ugly white stuff, but now hopefully I'll make some progress. Hey everybody, welcome to our running commentary this week as Noelle is doing a lot of scraping and caulking. You can see right here that it's all completely pulling apart so that is how we know it's time to scrape it all off and add some new stuff it's a little easier said than done some elbow grease and it comes out though
you know, that's really pulled apart right here. And you can see how crappy of a job it was before. Like, so Steve is at the hardware store getting some more stuff for his um, battery project. I have completed a lot of this already. All of these lines, um, all down below. All of these lines up here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not very good at filming myself. But, um, right now I'm trying to scrape the cab over area. There is a lot of area where it's pulling away. The, the old caulking is literally so cracked and dried that it's pulling away from the, the metal pieces, trim pieces. So I'm trying to scrape all of that caulking out of it and then I'll seal it with new sealant. So not the funnest way to spend a Saturday but definitely necessary. I have cleaned off um, the cab over, all the edges. Um, well I've scraped them all and now I'm going to give them a good wipe down and then I'm gonna, going to um, reseal it. So Hopefully I do a really good job and we don't have any leaks. <laughs> it's a little bit scary, honestly, because what if I don't do it right and we have leaks? But um, I'm trying to be over cautious and maybe adding more than I think I might need. So hopefully it's good. I had to get Steve to help me on this part. It's too tall. Doing a great job. Oh, thanks. It's going to keep squirting out the ends no matter what you do. This is, I think, some of the best work I've ever done. Well, how about an update? Well, Claire is forgiving. Yeah? Yeah. So, I'm um, finished with underneath here. Now, um, just trying to smooth it out a little bit, and I feel okay about it. Um, all this is done on the edges. Oh, I got a white place. Um, so that feels nice to be mostly done. How many hours into it are you? Oh, actual work? Um, four. Okay. Don't you think? I don't know. I mean, we've been out here off and on all day, but complete work for, and I'm half done. So tomorrow in the morning, I'll do that side and the back. Stay two of, um, scraping and resealing the exterior of our camper. Um, I slept in, so I got a late start. So it was like 10.30 and it's already like 85, 88 degrees, something like that. So that was dumb on my part. But today I'm gonna be working on the back because it's in the shade. And I think I'm going to wait for that last side until tomorrow. And I really will get up early. We'll see. When we were last at Boardman RV in Colorado Springs, when they did whatever they did last for us, oh, maybe Timberans, they prepared our Timberans. Um, they said that that is just, this is just goop. Let me show you. It's goop that was put behind here and then it squeezes out when they tighten these bolts. So they didn't actually add caulk to the outside. They just added it behind all the different parts. And then it squeezed out when they tightened all the bolts and tightened the trim. So that's kind of been my challenge. I wasn't very good at doing white caulk. So I switched over to clear way better and hopefully just as good of results. So let's go. Here I am back again. I say back, you don't realize that I'm back, but I just did this whole video and when I turned it off, 
it said six seconds. So I taped myself for, I don't know, a couple of minutes and time warp. Yeah, I'm not very good at this YouTube stuff. So <laughs> anyways, we met a couple next door to us. They came over to check out my handiwork. She does the caulking on their fifth wheel. She's got a little bit more square feet than we do, so it takes her a little bit longer. She said from start to finish, she usually plans on a couple months to do the entire RV. So I feel pretty good about, you know, like we have a quarter of their size, but I feel pretty good about probably finishing it tomorrow. So that'll be about three days altogether for me. It was also nice that she checked over my work and let me know that she thought I'm doing it right. That was encouraging. Um, we talked about what products I'm using. Um, Tycor is what I wanted to use and what I started to use, but I could only find it in white. So I switched over to Sika. Um, Cicacil. This is the general purpose acetoxy cure silicone. I got it right here at the local RV shop. This cost $33 a tube. This cost about $15 a tube. So I think I'm going to be able to do it with two tubes, maybe a third. So for about $100, 60 to $100. I'm going to have our whole camper um, re-caulked, resealed. That feels pretty nice um, for it not to be a huge, huge expense. We did get an estimate for the resealing project, scraping and resealing project, and it was going to be a starting point of $750. So that's why I'm out here with my trusty little scraper doing it myself. Okay better get back to work. I'm kind of stalling because it's, I'm hot. So I'm just about finished with re the slide area and this entire side has used almost one whole row or tube of sealant so I'm probably going to need more. So what I thought was going to be about $100 probably going to be $120. So um, still not very good at it. It's getting hot. It's supposed to get to 90 today, 60% humidity. And I don't really work in those conditions. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty soon, I'm just gonna go inside where there's a little bit of air conditioning. Okay, I'm on day three of scraping and resealing camper yes I'm wearing the same shirt because I already got sealant on it so why don't I just keep the shirt to be ruined instead of ruining another one so you're probably gonna see me wearing this shirt every day that I do <laughs> sealing now um, yesterday I scraped it all off the back but it got too hot to start the sealing so I'm gonna do that today after Steve drops the camper we're gonna give this one more wipe down and then I'll seal it and then I'll just do the other side and a little bit of the cab over and then I'll be finished being resealing all the edges of our truck camper I think I'm gonna finish it up today I just opened my third and hopefully last um, tube of sealant and I'm using Sikasil. Hopefully it's the right kind. And today I've already cleaned and scraped up here. And I'm going to go up there and seal it now. And then I got a little bit more to do on the side. Plus I just did a walk around. And I see a little section on the, the I don't know what you call it. The left side that I had skipped entirely the other day. So I'll do it too. Come on. Right here, you can see it's quite a bit peeled away, so I'm glad we're doing this. Um, that's a pretty big gap right there, so we're lucky I didn't feel any softness, so I don't think we've gotten any damage yet. I 
learned an important thing about caulking and scraping off the old stuff. You need to sweep it up pretty often. Otherwise it gets all in your shoes and then you'll be scraping and cleaning your shoes. So while Steve moved the truck, I did a little shoe cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you had some nougats in there. Oh man, I tried sweeping it as I went, but I missed some. Nice backup job here. Mm -hmm. Here you go, like in solidarity. Steve is helping me do the tall parts where I can't reach. So he got above the speakers, above those lights, around the ladder, and he's going to do a little bit above the door. Thanks, Steve. Hey, welcome to the underside of the truck camper. So, this is what sits in our truck bed, these guys. And I noticed when Noelle had this out uh, the other day when she's doing all the, the re caulking, I looked down here and I saw, oh, like we need, it needs to be caulked, you know, it's breaking, whatever. Uh, but then I was looking closer and I'll show you uh, some of the screws are actually starting to, to back out. So, you can see here, like, look at this, look how loose this is. This is actually like I can wiggle it out with my, my fingers. So since I see all these, uh, I'm just gonna go through and tighten them all down. Not a very exciting job, but uh, necessary. And I'll take a look over here. These guys. Oh, that's loose. Oh, it's broken clean off, yeah. Well, it looks like this guy just rusted right on through. So down here in the wheel well, Noelle's actually already caulked it. So I'm just coming in and I'm tightening up all of the screws or bolts or whatever you want to call them. So these actually feel kind of solid to me. Like the ones I'm tightening in the back, it feels like I'm almost tightening into like a very thin like particle board or something. So this, this feels like there's something substantial on the other side that you can actually tighten up to. So that's kind of nice. Magic carpet ride. So we're on the other side of the truck now. Yeah, I don't see anybody sticking out here like we saw on the other side, which is good. So after I'm done with this, I need to crawl up on the roof. And there's one more area up there that I, well, not one more, there's one area up there that I need to caulk. It wasn't really gonna work having to well climb up on the roof to caulk this one spot. So I said I would do it. Well, Noel's been doing all this caulking. I've been actually working on our electrical system. So I know you're all saying, why isn't Steve out there doing this? Why isn't he helping? I've been busy on my own stuff. So we just kind of divided and conquered and kind of is what it is. So here, I'm actually just straight up missing two of the screws. They're just gone. Looks like maybe they sheared off in there. So yeah, they be gone. So this is what it looks like on the bottom. So this is our fresh water. Here it's easy. You can see it's coming right over here from the city. And this is our Santa flush. So we hook up a different water line to this when we're like doing a black water dump. Water goes in here and it goes into the tank where it's got like a little nozzle that sprays in the black water tank to get chunks and whatever to come out. And right next to it, we have a portable solar where you can plug in. We got a little panel, we plug it in here. We don't have a little panel to plug in, so never used it. Welcome back to the roof. So if we look up here, like you can see, like the grout, not grout, the sealer's gone. Here it's gone. So here, I'm actually going to look behind this and see if there's like a screw or anything that will tighten in. Oh yeah. Oh, there, there should be one there, and it's missing. All right. Oh, yeah. So, maybe that's why this is loose. 
All right, so let me see if I can fix this. You know, when I was up here the other day and I was doing uh, something with the solar, Todd, one of our viewers, made a comment and said, hey, you know, that screwdriver you have, the end of it is a quarter inch that you could actually use to, to drive the screws in. So I need, to, need a quarter inch right now, so I'm gonna see if this will actually work. So here we go. The goal here is to do this without killing myself. Dip me in shit. Score one for Todd. This is why I love putting this stuff up. You guys know so much more about it than we do. All right, thank you for the hint, Todd. I'm gonna do some tightening now. Hanging out on the roof, I'm, I'm looking for water damage, really. You know, so I'm walking around the roof, wandering around the roof, crawling around the roof. You know, I am feeling like do I have any soft spots? Do I have any bubbles? We've got a couple bubbles, small bubbles, like air pockets. They didn't really concern me when I'm pushing down on them. Uh, there's nothing soft around them. So, but overall what I'm doing up here, you know, is I'm, I'm actually looking at the roof, looking at where we have seals, whatever, looking to see, do I have anywhere where I have like an obvious water leak that's occurring. So caulking along the edge here, this is all preventative. Like, I can see the caulk or the sealant is gone. Uh, so now it's just time, let's put some new caulk in there. Let's, let's seal it up and, and kind of go from there. Oh, again, this side, now that I'm up standing on the truck, let me show what it looks like over here. I think you can get a better view when I'm at eye level. So come on, let's look. So if you look here, you can see where I'm caulking. Can you see this little crack underneath it? So that's the edge of the roof. Now, I don't know if this is just like where the rubber ends or if the rubber goes underneath here and it's just starting to split there, but it doesn't really matter. We're just gonna put a nice big old thick bead of caulk sealant, whatever this, this stuff is on the edge. You can see the line here where they had it before. So I think just vibrations, you know, driving down the road, just cracked and peeled. So I'm gonna continue working on it. So for us, we check our seals on a fairly regular basis. We haven't done anything about it before, but we look at it pretty often. It's easy as we're just doing our walk around before we leave a campground. We can just look at it. For you, you might wanna check your seals at the start or the end of each camping season. Technically, you're supposed to seal them annually, so we're on a, you know, not too bad of a pace. I think, you know, like when I'm on the roof, which isn't that often, honestly, uh, I, I generally look, particularly in the front of the cab, I'm looking at that seal that we have that we're connecting whatever the fiberglass to the roof. There's a, like a bead of sealing up there. I check that almost every time I'm up there, just because, in my opinion, that's where we would have a failure that could be somewhat catastrophic. So since I'm standing here and I'm doing the, the lip up here, I can also look down and see the lip here and see that you now this is part in the well couldn't reach and it's got the same thing. It's all cracking. It's missing. If I look down here, I can even see like it, it's a little loose to the camper. So what I'm going to do on this one, I'm going to scrape it. I'm going to loosen these just a little bit and then caulk, seal, whatever, so I get it going behind it. And then I'll tighten it down and squeeze it out. So I'll try to get fancy now. Don't forget to do your final walk around. We found a few places that I had forgotten to caulk all together. So the walk around is important. Walk around with the ladder. <laughs> yeah. There we are. You're there. Show us the berries. Well, I had to cut myself a path to get here. Mm -hmm. But nice. they're huge. Look at them. Yeah, this one. It's as big as my thumb. Yeah. Get this, taste it. That's oh, sweet. you want some too? Here we are at the end of our project. Well, here we are at the end of <laughs> Noelle's project. Scrape, clean, reseal, repeat. <laughs> so it took me about 10 hours, I think, in total, spread out over four days. Um, took Steve maybe two hours. So, you know, if we were in shop time, 
they were going to charge $150 an hour. So that's about $1,800 in shop time that we saved by doing this tedious job ourselves. Um, ended up costing $90 for three tubes of sealant. And, well, actually, maybe a little bit more. $90 plus $15 because you used a tube of white on yeah. the top. So. Uh, yeah, of a die core on the top. So it cost about $115 in sealant and we saved about $1,800 in shop time by doing this project ourselves. So I feel pretty good about that. I think, you know, a shop, if they had done the work for us, it, it may have looked cosmetically oh, definitely, better. Definitely. But I think we actually spent more time trying to do a good job. Yeah, a more then, thorough job. That's a bit, yeah, a more thorough job than a shop yeah. would have done. Like some of the work we did with screwdrivers and stuff, tightening and all that kind of stuff. I don't think we would have seen that level of attention to detail from a shop. Yeah. So I think better from us. Yeah, I think in order to make it cleaner and neater, what a lot of people do is lay a, be, er, um, a line of painter's tape down um, and then caulk within the tape. You know, I put a strip of tape on this side, a strip of tape on that side. That ah, seemed like way too much work for me. <laughs> so it's a little messy in some spots, but it's clear. <laughs> so um, if somebody's judging us that harshly, shame on them. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be harsh in our mellow. <laughs> <laughs> so on our screwdriver scale of oh. one to five screwdrivers, yeah, where so are you at? I'm going to give it a four. Not because it's difficult. It isn't difficult, but it's tedious and it's awkward how you have to you know like reach in and yeah it's tedious and awkward so i'm gonna give it a four and it dragged on fucking forever you do that part <laughs> it did drag on forever it seemed like maybe that was me not wanting to work i don't know <laughs> but so if you, you're watching the video and you're like, hey, I see things that you guys should have done different or I don't like the materials that you used, you can shut the f*** up. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell us. Like, I did I did read, you know, like, like, in all honesty, there were mixed reviews on the silicone um, sealant that I used. Um, not on that brand particularly, but on... Um, whether or not you should use silicon at all. I did use it because the RV shop here in, in town suggested it and said it's exactly what they used and he kind of pointed it out to me on an RV they had in the lot that that's where it had been used. So I felt comfortable selecting that product. Um, one of the biggest problems people have with scraping and resealing caulk is that it doesn't always, your new product doesn't always stick and adhere to your old product um right now it seems like we're okay you know like two days into it so i definitely will keep a really close eye over the next couple of months and make sure that it is sticking in that we got a good seal so if you see what we did wrong that's great let us know if you see how we could have done it easier or better next time let us know because technically we're supposed to do this once a year <laughs> <laughs> this is I, I agree noelle should do this once a year <laughs> i can't even imagine doing this once a year it's anyway so tedious thanks for watching we appreciate your time next week we're going to do some batteries we're digging back into the solar project so we look forward to seeing you then